Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Facebook Live. We are going to be talking about five tips to find the right self-directed IRA administrator for you. Uh, this is all we're going to talk about ourselves through it, but these are all questions that if you choose to shop around and look for other IRA administrators, it's a great starting point for you to have your questions ready to go and um, really just ask away. So if you have questions or comments on what we are talking about, please add it in the comment section. We do have the ability to answer and see those questions as they come in, which we love when we get some live interaction on these and we have the ability to um, kind of answer those questions right right then and there. So be sure to ask those and then. Before we jump in, I just want to let you guys know, thank you so much for everyone who has been following all of our Facebook Lives and YouTube channel for all this free education for you. Um, for anyone that is new or watching that has just started, I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Bianca Kruger. I assist all of our clients with the opening and funding of their accounts, any questions that you may have. So these are some of uh, the tips and tricks uh, that any client or prospective client should be aware of. And I'm Megan Gulane. I'm the Director of Business Development here at Mountain West. And before we jump into it, I always want to give a disclaimer that Mountain West IRA does not render any kind of advice, tax, legal, any type of those kind of services. So if you feel that you need the appropriate licensed uh, advisor or person that you were wanting to do business with, make sure that you do that ahead of time. Um, or if you ever ask us, we'll be able to refer you uh, to the person that you were looking for. Yes. But at the end of the day, it has to be your choice. We can't give you any advice at all. This is just information that is easily accessible, but sometimes not always known, especially in the self-directed IRA community. Yeah, so with that, we're going to get started. So Bianca, what is the first tip that we have? So this is the biggest tip, and I think that uh, it's my most important and favorite one across the board in anything that you do, but specifically with self-directed IRA companies, service. Service is so important. Um, because it doesn't matter about anything. If you can't get a hold of someone or someone you're not happy with, you're not going to want to do business with them. Something that I know that uh, is so amazing about in Mountain West compared to all types of companies, and this is a question that you're going to want to um, ask anybody, is what is your guys' processing time? How quickly do you process transactions, paperwork, getting your account open? How often do you call me back, email me? Our processing time is only two business days or less. Um, I always like to say or less because I know that at least in my department that we always try to beat this. Uh, but just keep in mind that it is two business days, which is quicker than any other custodian that I've ever seen. Uh, we've seen some other comparisons that are weeks. Uh, and not on top of that, uh, if they decide to reject whatever you're trying to process, uh, I have found it very comical, maybe not comical to you, that they will wait in the entire processing time and then the very last day of their processing time, they'll send you that rejection. And that's something that we differ on as well. Anytime that we take any type of documents for any processing, we look over the day that you give it to us and we'll get back to you with any kind of edits and or letting you know that it's in good order and that we're reviewing and processing. Something else that I love about a service, and I know that I'm a little bit long-winded with service, but it's something that is just uh, not only what I like to implement every day, but it's more like true to like, you know, the heartstrings is that I don't know about you guys, but I hate phone trees. I don't want to press seven or 10 or get transferred three times. You I know I'm always yelling at give me the receptionist <laughs> <laughs> or operator. Anytime that you call Mountain West IRA, as long as it's within business hours, you get to talk to a real person and a person that you can even put a face to a name so if you're ever not sure who you're talking to you can always go to our website and see exactly who you're talking about uh talking to and what they specialize in so if you ever go onto the mountain west website and you see me you'll see that i work in business development that i assist all clients with opening and funding as well as online access and then um i'd probably say this is the best part is that we don't treat you like a number on a spreadsheet. There is not just a number next to your name. We have detailed notes about who you are, what we discuss. We treat you more like a family friend than just 
Bob Smith, you know, we want to be able to create a relationship with you, not only for your IRA funds, but we understand that you are trying to build generational wealth. And not only you are going to be a client, but your family and friends are as well. So I know that was a big one. It's my first one. Service is so important. And even if you decide not to choose Mountain West, you do want to make sure that you're asking these types of questions, what their service is, what, uh, if you're going to be talking to the same person every time, processing time, turnaround time. It's just great questions to be aware of as well. So you just mentioned same person. Can you go into a little bit more detail about that? Yes, definitely. So when you talk to anyone here at Mountain West, you typically get to talk to one person that you speak with. We do have multiple departments, but you can always request to speak to any one representative here, and we're more than happy to assist you. If for whatever reason that we can't, like, let's say you ask me a specific questions about um, a transaction that you're doing, and I don't know the 100% best answer, at that point in time, I would conference you in with another fellow representative that is knowledgeable. But that is also something that we are really pride ourselves on, is that anytime we're giving you information, it's 100% accurate. If we are ever unsure, we make sure to verify that before giving you that information. Yes. And you, like Bianca said, like when you're opening an account, you get to work with Bianca the whole time when you're opening an account. And that's really big because we have had clients tell us um, from previous experiences that they submitted an application, they hear from this person, that person, that person, and they all have different answers. And that's something we pride ourselves on not doing here at Mountain West. So you get to work with the same person through that transaction or through that process that you were working with. So it's a big deal when it comes to service, especially your retirement account. This is the money that you're going to retire on and you're building. Um, so why have why, like why struggle for the ability to build something that you're going above and beyond the average person right now? And so that's what we like to talk about with service. So service is amazing. Um, we, we do like to pride ourselves on our service, which gets into experience. So our founders, our owners, they um, created this system of service because of their background. So the CEOs, the founders are actually my parents, and they um, have been in the financial industry for over 30 years as financial advisors and then also having Mountain West IRA for 15 years? Are we on 15 years? We are 15 approaching 16. Approaching 16 years. So um, they should probably up that number. I mean, we're probably at like 40, 40 something years total between the two of them in the financial industry. So um, this ranges and with experiences also or experience also comes cysts, cysts, which you don't hear about often. And it really doesn't matter on on the side of where our client is where assist matters in is the side of the education and we have currently three cysts so we have one person who is actually sitting for her cyst test in a, in a month i think and so um, we will soon have four people who are cysts and what that is is a certified ira services professional and or provider and that provider i mean we get the most up-to-date current information on iras and we have the ability with what a CISP is and what, what you have to do to sit for it is it's a part of the American Banking Association and we you have to be in the business for at least three years minimum to sit for this test. So that's already saying you have a ton of experience. Now you get more experience and you get to know all the laws, like more in depth, you get to pass a test basically saying that you know all the laws, you know all the regulations, you know all this stuff. So we have three currently and four hopefully very soon. Um, shout out to Diana. If you are a watcher of our Facebook or um, YouTube, Diana is on here quite often. So we're all sending her good luck for that. Um, so um, experience is huge. And then also um, what I see because I am see, I oversee um, the business development department is the ability to actually practice what we preach. So our company, um, we don't have CEOs, founders who are just sitting there saying this is a great option. They actually use their accounts. They train us to actually use our accounts. So they, in the workplace, um, explain why it's helpful. We go into detail myself. I do notes within my account. Um, and I built my account from a very low, like I think I started at 5,000 to 10,000 and I've been able to build that up and create promissory notes. And that's just the area I like to be in. Um, so it's 
we have all different assets within our own staff who practice what we preach. Like we're investing in private assets, uh, private placements. We have um, our real estate. We have uh, promissory notes, raw land. I want to say we have almost everything. Um, so when I say practice what we preach, like that's a big deal. And it is a huge deal because that means that we know the benefits. We know how the process is and we want to make it as smooth as possible. And when you are doing an asset within your IRA, this is already something that's like viewed at it, viewed at as kind of like taboo or weird because um, nobody knows about it or very few people know about self-direction. Um, so you want to have somebody who is very knowledgeable in why self-direction is so amazing and why you haven't heard of it and why the large names um, that have, that you ha may have an IRA with, why they don't have self-directed. So this is a great um, opportunity for you to get this education from a family owned and operated business um, with experience in doing what we preach, practicing what we preach and being a part of the investment community sharing ourselves. Knowledge. Yeah, sharing the knowledge and, and we go over it. We've had, um, We've had stock classes. You love the stock class. I love the stock class. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we have our assets within. So um, pretty amazing stuff in the experience world. Um, and it just makes it better for you as the client because you're able to talk to us and we know what you're talking about, which is huge um, because we're not just hiring Joe Schmo off the street who doesn't know anything about real estate. So it's a big, big deal. Um, so yes, tip um, number two. <laughs> that was number two. Now we're on to three. So just to reiterate and re-conference um, that, mm -hmm. um, step two is experience. You want to be asking the questions are, how long have you guys been in business? Uh, what type of accreditations, accolades that you have? Like she mentioned, sis, being in this business for years. You want to make sure that the person that you're working with isn't reading a script, <laughs> isn't just reading exactly what they're supposed to be. Um, you want to make sure that you have someone that is well knowledgeable. I actually did get accused of reading a script uh, the other day, but that's just because this is what I do every single day. I help every single client. I help referral clients. I help any single person. And I even let you know, even if you don't want to be a Mountain West client, ask me a question. I'm more than happy to help you regardless. Mm -hmm. It's just Tying back to number one, service. Mm -hmm. um, but now let's uh, go into step or tip number three, fees. I know that kind of boils down for a lot of people. Everyone has a certain amount of money that they're willing to spend or they're willing not to spend. So that's just something that you really want to keep in mind. Um, so I found this across the board with other companies. So the account establishment fees, it, from what my opinion is and from what I've seen are across the board around $50. But I have seen of brand new companies or companies that are switching their fee schedules to appear less expensive. So we've seen account establishment fees, you know, $5 cheaper, $10 cheaper, um, annual fees that are literally $5 cheaper um, or less expensive. I'd like to say might be, <laughs> um, but with the trick to that or the caveat, is that all of their other fees are ridiculously more expensive, like double ours. So uh, I've seen transaction fees for a piece of real estate around $300 to be able to buy once. Ours is about what, what, 125. Um, and then non-real estate is 95. And then not on top of that, we have a fee schedule that is flexible. So you can choose which one is best for you, as well as you're not just stuck with one annual fee. Like I've seen some of these companies to where you're not charged in a red, uh, you're charged in retro grade, if I'm not mistaken, not on a 12 month rolling period to where if you're opening an account now, you're charged for the whole year of 2020, opposed to us where we charge on a quarterly basis for when you purchase your asset and or when you open your account. We find that extremely beneficial, not to us, but only to you because why are we going to charge you a whole bunch of money for your account if you're not ready for your investment yet? But we do know like specifically in real estate that when the ball's rolling, you need to be acting quickly. So it is nice to have your account open and ready. So when you find that real estate investment, if you find that deal that you can act immediately. So you just want to keep that in mind. Look at the total overall fees, not just the beginning. You want to see, what are my fees going to look like in a year? 
um, tying that back to us is that we do have a fee calculator offered so you can always ask for it and you can really toggle back and forth both our option one and option two fee schedules to see what is best for you, see what is the least expensive option for you, not only short term, but long term goals as well. I do want to um, let people know that yes, some of those fees may seem less expensive in the media and that is a very good grab. It's a nice little hook. Um, I like to compare that to uh, what my mom just today um, got sold on Apple to get some more uh, storage, wow, storage storage for her phone. They're like, yeah, only 99 cents. And I'm like, mom, it's not 99 cents. It's 99 cents now and they're gonna charge you about $20 a month just to be able to have storage on your own phone. So it, it's being able to look past the, the hard sell and looking at the total long-term value of what you're wanting to do with your account. So I love this uh, comparing apples to oranges because there is no other company in my opinion like us, as well as even in the self-directed game, it's uncomparable to be able to just compare the difference of $5 with tying back to number one service. It, it just we're uncomparable yes and for the service that we do offer our fees are comparable to our um, competitors who cannot offer what we do and so uh, we are very very aggressive with competitive fees we're aggressive with service like we want you to have the best experience possible when it comes to self-directed IRAs and that includes fee wise and they're very very fair fees and um, I'm very happy to say in the last uh, seven years, I believe, seven or, seven or eight years, uh, we have actually not changed our fee schedule, which is another thing that we have heard quite a bit, which happens around December, November, December. Um, some of our clients that have switched over from other custodians, they have told us around that time, they get a letter saying that their fees are going to increase. We have not increased our fees for a, quite a long time. And if we do, we are grandfathering in because we're a family owned and operated company. We have the ability to make those rules. So it's really cool being able to make sure our clients always have the best experience possible when it comes to service and fees. So next tip number four is going over some stats for our company. So we are a smaller boutique self-directed IRA administrator. But with that being said, when we when we say or hear boutique, we often think more expensive. But just like we talked about, the fees are really competitive with the larger firms. So um, I do like to always tell our stats and I do want to let you know we are a little bit smaller than some of our competitors who are out there. Um, so I'm going to look down on my paper to cheat on this one. So we hold around $520 million in assets in cash. Um, that's a combined total. So that is a pretty decent size for <laughs> a small family owned and operated firm. We have over 3000 clients who are with us. So we thank every single one of you and we appreciate you guys and and you really help make this company what it is. Um, and we have a huge diverse range of clients from the new investor who is just getting started or very novice within the real estate area um, or IRA world, really the IRA world. And then we have the investors who have multiple assets with us and are doing assets all the time, um, are purchasing, selling all the things within the IRAs and, and multi-million dollar accounts. So we have a huge variety and you are, no matter where you fall in that line, you get quality service. Our lowest accounts that we accept are $500. And we don't have a maximum on the max. So, <laughs> but just know that we look at every single month, we look at the assets that are coming in, we look at the transactions that are happening, the maintenance that's happening on all of these assets. And every single month, we are looking at those to determine if we need to hire somebody and continue to grow or, or what we need to do to make sure we have the ability to grow with our clients. Uh, this is not something that goes overlooked. This is not something that we take lightly. And so um, when it comes to our clients and our assets and our and our dollar range, although we are a little bit smaller as like a boutique firm, um, you still get the best service possible for competitive fees. So I'm happy to report that 
to you guys and uh, you can always ask us those questions any firm should be open with you about what they manage and I, like i said just don't be surprised when you hear something completely different because we are a smaller boutique firm family owned and operated um so but with that being said we are also very competitive i love that though at least in my opinion because you get that uh personalized touch um, tying back to, mm -hmm. we treat you like a family friend. We know what's going on in your account. Um, when you call a bigger name company and you say, I talked to one person a week ago, they're going to have no way of contacting them. It's extremely hard to get to, to anyone that you've already spoken with. Typically it's a, um, call centers. Mm -hmm. So you don't get that personalized touch of being able to speak with the same representative, being able to be like, yes, of course, I remember our conversation from a month ago because we have detailed notes in your account. And actually talking about that, while we're talking a little bit about the company, our company is also moving into a new building. Like I said, we are having to, um, looking at our assets and looking at the transactions, and we actually decided we needed to move into a bigger building to hold the growth that's happening. And so um, we are moving this month. You'll hear more about it. You'll go on a tour with us um, once some more construction's done. Sam, uh, she did a tour on Monday. It was a really short, like short glimpses. We're still under extreme construction uh, but we are moving in the at the end of the month so we look forward to being able to continue to grow with you guys um so you'll see that that'll be on the sooner right sooner if you guys later. have not been watching or you plan on watching and you want to know more about that make sure you like share subscribe make sure you hit the bell so that you're notified about all of our facebook lives and you'll be able to see the first sneak peeks and more uh information about our new building so without further ado, tip number five, our last tip is education. Um, so with all of this education that we give you, I, I always like to mention, or I like, like to mention often that it is free, 100% free to you, to anyone who share you share it with, whether it's a friend, a family, a colleague, anyone. We are always giving free information. I've seen a lot of other companies that make anyone pay for basic knowledge. Uh, to be able to get in more than one consultation, you have to pay. You can call Mountain West at any point in time, email, fax, however you wish to contact us. Facebook. Facebook, <laughs> website submission. We're here to answer your questions at no inconvenience to you. We're gonna make sure that you get all of your questions answered quickly and thoroughly. Um, I've seen a lot of other companies who make you pay 30, 40, 50, hundreds of dollars to sit through an extremely lackluster presentation with no pizzazz and no sparkle and no enthusiasm, which sometimes we can expect in the finance world, if you're, especially if you've been in here for a long time, it kind of loses its luster sometimes. But here with us and anytime that we present, anytime that we're giving you information, we let you know exactly how enthused we are about it. It's not just an everyday monotonous task. I think self-direction and all the options and possibilities that you have are basically endless. I was just talking to, I know I keep referencing everything, but it's nice to give examples. I was talking to a client today about all the information that they can do with a solo 401k um, or IK plan or individual solo 401k. Um, and he was just in shock and almost disbelief on the amount of information that I was giving him because uh, I was just rattling it off. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, so I sent him everything that he would need to be able to make his best decision. And I know that we have a consultation uh, scheduled later on in the week. Um, as well as not only do we have our Facebook Live, we also have our YouTube channel as well. And what's great about this channel as well as our YouTube is that even if you don't make our live, we love if you show up live because then we can answer your questions immediately. But even if you're not available for this exact time slot, you can watch a recorded version. You can rewatch them multiple times. I know with a lot of webinars, they're either live, and if you're there, you're there. If you're not, you're not. If you're late, you don't get to revisit that information. Or if they do have a replay, it's only replayed once or it's not available immediately. So the education that we give our clients is, in my opinion, priceless. Mm -hmm. um, so much time and effort is put into these types of uh, information segues, 
like webinars, like Facebook Lives, like YouTube, like all the information that we give on not only our website, uh, but our other social uh, accounts. As well as we do have the experience, tying back to tip number two, to be able to give you this educated information, as well as real time, especially with everything that's gone in 2020, we have been the most up to date with everything that you need to know about your retirement accounts, about uh, required minimum di distributions, about how much you can contribute to your account, contribution deadlines, uh, the CARES Act, the SECURE Act, all <laughs> the acts that have taken place during this time. Um, yeah, so I think it's been huge. One thing that I did want to hit on with Bianca, when the world does open up, we have seminars in our Idaho office in Florida. We go visit offices and do seminars. But one of my favorite things for my secret people who watch this but don't want me to know or don't want us to know you're watching, you do not have to submit your email address. You do not get bombarded by sales emails from us when it comes to our education. Our education is free education, like Bianca said. Uh, so you have it access accessible on Facebook. You have it accessible on YouTube. You can call us at any point and ask for private information if you want to talk about your own stuff. Um, so that's something that I love that we do. Um, and we don't like you don't you're not required to give us your your information in order to just get our content right. and um that's a huge deal i think uh, for somebody who loves signing up for webinars and courses and all the things like your email can get bombarded and it's a place where you're like oh my gosh i don't want anything more and to get the education for free yes you're going to have to remind yourself or turn on your notifications on facebook or youtube but you will get it so um, without having to give the information. So we, we like our secret people too, our secret admirers who are watching. We thank all of you. And the ones that tell us later that you are, you were watching our, our videos, we appreciate you. But yeah, I, that's a huge part on the education side that, um, that I'm really happy that business development has put together. And um, with everything going on in the world, we were able to get on, on live and start these Facebook lives almost immediately back in February or March. So um, I love that part. So I love how fast and nimble we can be with that stuff. Um, but yeah, any last words that you have? Um, one thing that I do like uh, that I just want to wrap around to is that we were not like, you know, your big regular corporation where they have to go through the bureaucracy of going through this ladder. Um, anytime that you wanna to talk to anyone at Mountain West, we're always more than happy to help you. As well as if any, if let's say I'm unavailable, I have other colleagues that can answer your questions in my department. There's always gonna be someone available for you. You don't have to wait an extended amount of period of time to be able to do business. Um, to be able to not be contacted within a, you know, a reasonable time can really affect your investments and the way that you do business. So we, I just like to tie that back down to number one, because I'm always going to go back to number one is service and making sure that you're aware and asking questions. I also want to tie back into one of our previous Facebook lives about doing your due diligence. If you haven't watched that, I would definitely recommend watching that. It tells you all the tips and tricks about being aware of what you're doing inside of your account. So yeah, and always talking to us about it. We don't charge, we're not like an attorney. You can call and run <laughs> ideas through us and, and we'll let you know, um, or let you know who, if you need to talk to an attorney. So yeah, we're happy happy to have all of you guys on here. Please subscribe to either um, Facebook follow or YouTube, you can ring the bell. YouTube does go up a couple days after Facebook because we take these Facebook recordings and put them on YouTube. So if you want the newest content and want to go live with us, that's on Facebook. And other than that, we are so excited to. I just want to just go, yeah, go through ahead. all the five steps real quick. So step number one and asking about service, what they, what they provide. Two is experience to see what they are doing inside of your accounts, how they are accredited to be able to handle your accounts. Three is fees. We know that's usually most people's number one, but we count it as number three is fees. Four, company statistics, what they are doing with your account, how many people they're managing, um, who's involved, as well as last but not least, five, 
education and how they give it to you and provide to you. Thanks. Thanks for the recap. <laughs> All righty. So thank you so much for joining us on today's live. Today is Thursday. So we are done for this week on lives. We will see you next Tuesday. And Diana will be sure to get those posted and let you know. Just make sure you subscribe for the latest details. Thank you. Bye.